Hey YouTube, Madam Roy back once again. Well, today I have kind of a special uh, pickup for you. I was at the thrift store today, again not finding much as is usual these past couple of months, when I stumbled across this. This is a sharp, you can read up here, stereo radio cassette recorder with compact disc model QT CD26. Um, this actually dates from August of 1989, and I know this because that's what the uh, manufacturer date is written right on the back of it. Um, there wasn't a special reason I wanted to get this, other than the fact my the radio that I use in the bathroom, and yes, a lot of people, including me, like to listen to music when they're uh, getting ready in the morning. Um, was starting to wear out. What I had in there was an old Sony um, uh, boom box I picked up at the same thrift store about four or five years ago and the cassette and everything had been wearing out for a while. Um, I wasn't specifically looking for one this old but I know that these boom boxes from the late 80s tend to have really nice sound quality. Um, and there are a few other unique features uh, about this system so Let's go ahead and get started. Uh, first, one of the main reasons I picked this up is up here. This is an auxiliary uh, input for what they used to say was a CD player, like an external CD player, but of course what I'm use this, going to use this for now is to plug in my uh, MP3 players. This is very rare to find on a boombox. Uh, as a matter of fact, this is the main reason that I picked this up is because it has these inputs. Right next to it here is a beat selector. You can choose A, B, or C, and each one gives you a little bit different sound. Um, a is mostly treble with very little bass. B is a little bit less treble and more bass. And C is a lot of bass and very little treble. So I usually like to keep it on B. Right here you just have your normal uh, headphone jack. Underneath here uh, we have a volume bar and then a three band graphic equalizer. Very, very typical for the time period. Um, they, they, use, they basically use these, graphic, uh, these small graphic equalizers to sell their product. So in a way they would say, oh yeah, ours is better because we have an equalizer like the big component systems. So that was one way they were able to sell these better in the, back in the day. And it worked. People bought these in great numbers. Um, that one's for the extra bass, and then mid-range and the treble. Next to that we have the power and FM stereo light, and this does have a very, very good radio. Up here you have your functions, tape, radio, and CD. And then here you have uh, FM mono, FM stereo, and then your AM. So this is your band selector. I mainly listen to AM radio when I do listen to it, so I'm probably just going to keep it on there. Uh, typical old school uh, radio selector has the bar, as you can see. If I have this, is a little um, adjustment to change your station, so you can just move the bar like that. Again, FM AM, because we're in the United States, we don't have. Uh, the medium and shortwave like a lot of my uh, British subscribers have. Um, some of my radios do have shortwave but nothing in the boomboxes. Now this is probably the most interesting part of this uh, set, stereo setup. Uh, let me see if I can get it here. You can read some of what it says up here. Linear phase digital filter 20 track random access program. These are actually legit features. Back back in the day, they would put almost anything on there. I mean, if it was like a they would, like right here, this for this linear phase digital filter could be nothing more than say uh, just a, an extra filter capacitor. They would do that because people back then really didn't know and they wanted to sell their product. Um, but I believe that I believe this because this has an incredible sound quality and is very very clear for a system of this age. Up here is your CD eject button, so when you push that, the door opens up. And in here, this is where you stick your CD. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a quick excerpt from the Sand Drift, which is, I've done before in previous videos, and I know this is safe because, again, I 
my whole class, we own the rights to this song. So anybody wants to dispute that, I'll talk to them all day about it. And that's track seven. Now, when you put a CD in here, it's really unusual. What you have to do is you stick it right on the back of the door. And you can see the CD temporarily sits just like that in the player. And then what you do, you just close it. So we'll go ahead and turn this on. You can see the CD spinning up there. And we'll go ahead, it's got 17 tracks, we're going to go to track 7. And hit play. forgot uh, these older players didn't actually have a uh, forward functionality in other words you couldn't forward within the song you would just go one track up um, so you get the idea it definitely has really nice sound quality um, one other really really interesting aspect to this and it's a little bit more of an annoyance but I guess I can live with it for some reason the way they have this set up and I think it's because it's line level input to use the uh, an MP3 player with the two RCA jacks here, you have to have it on the CD function, but you have to have the door of the CD player open for the MP3 player to work. Of course, on the other side, if you want the CD player to work properly at least, you can't have anything plugged in here. So. When I'm using the as an MP3 player, I have to have the door open, and then once I want to use the CD player again, I actually have to pull out the um, the two RCA plugs, which it's kind of an annoyance, and I don't like having to put that much stress on these. But you know, I don't really listen to MP3 players that much um, when I'm in the bathroom, so you know what, I can learn to live with it. Um, let me give you guys a closer look in here. I'll show you exactly um, why they don't make this kind of CD player anymore. Um, if you look right here, you see there's a little uh, rubber pad. And what this does is this rubber pad, when you close this, actually helps keep the CD in place. So pretend my hand's the CD. When I close this, it'll keep my hand from wiggling and then, of course, making the CD skip. Well, unfortunately with this design, what would tend to happen after a while is the rubber would degrade because being that it's vertical, you would still get some shaking and the rubber would get pitted after a while. Um, this one actually seems to be in good shape, so that, that's why I'm not too worried. But after extensive use, when the rubber gets pitted, the CD would tend to wiggle around, not stay flush, and then you would have the problem to where it would skip and then of course eventually wouldn't play at all anymore. Um, so this is a 1989, so by, I would say, 19, around 1993, when I got my first player, that's when they decided to put them on the top and have them basically horizontal, and that puts much, much less stress on the mechanism. 
I always thought this design was very poor for that reason. I mean, I, you could tell, even if you're not really mechanically inclined, you can tell that having a CD spin horizontally is just awkward. Gravity is going to want to pull it basically flat, so it makes much more sense just to have it sitting horizontally and flat on top of the unit. Um, so anyway, that's pretty much it. Um, this is going to go right into my bathroom, and so when I get ready in the morning, you know, brush my teeth, and maybe even when I shower, I'll have some tunes to listen to. Um, the cassette player and the radio do work fine. Um, I was, I, because of copyright issues, I can't display them. I was going to go ahead and make a recording on here of, of my voice so you could hear the quality, but unfortunately this does not have a built-in microphone nor does it have a port for me to plug in in my external microphone. So unfortunately I can't demonstrate that or the radio, but at least I was able to show you guys what the CD player looks like. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, please like and subscribe. And remember, as always, have a blessed day.